Uh, it's really, really wet out there. Neil is currently drying himself off on me. So we went camping. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> In Ottawa, we had the time of our lives going camping for four days, three nights with two platforms for four people. We canoed there, canoed back. It was back country. Uh, the weather was supposed to be 25 all four days. We had a lot of surprises. I captured so much stuff while we were camping and honestly, I want to go through it all with you guys. Yeah. We had our food, we had a big cooler, we had propane gas. It's unbelievable, but when we got there, it was raining. And so we were canoeing in while it was raining. We got there, we were putting up our shelter and our tents. We were struggling to put up the tarp and the two tents at the same time. It was crazy, it was so hectic. <laughs> you go to the service shop, you pick up keys and your paddles and your life jackets and you park your car where the canoes are. You pick up your canoes and you put everything in it. They give you a map for all the campsites that are around. There's a lot of campsites, but they're all far away from each other. There's a bunch of platforms. We were in platform number 17 and 18. It was great, it was a great time. But we got to the place where you park your car and you pick up the canoes at 6.30. We arrived at our campsite at 7.15. It was getting a little dark, it was raining. As you can see, it was crazy. We had our headlamps and our flashlights on. We arrived and it was like, look at that. This is a completely different day. It really did rain we had to focus on keeping the land onto our left we hug it as we go past the islands and we get to a small peninsula kind of cutting into the water go diagonally from there and that is where we would be arriving into our campsite we had two canoes it would take us 40 minutes if we were all paddling and being powerful and not wasting any time it would take us like 35 to 40 minutes we had food our shelter a dog everything the propane gas we had everything with us we were hoping to god that we would not flip thankfully we actually didn't flip but it did take us a while because it was the dog's first time on a canoe and so one of the canoes had only one person steering and paddling from the back our wonderful leader slash chef hooked us up a paella it was delicious we were working they were actually the men were working under the tarp over here you have a pro tip from one of our co-chefs pro tip if you don't want to cry while cutting onions, don't cut the bottom because then it bleeds and then you start. I just realized, I was gonna say cut the top, don't cut the bottom. I just realized because of the darkness, I cut the bottom and left the top on. <laughs> I usually stuck to eggs. Everybody got their own tea, their own coffee. And the best part is washing the dishes. It was a lot of fun. It was so fun. It was raining as it was happening. So we arrived today and it's raining. This is what we have to do. <laughs> We wait for each other outside of the toilet. Headlamps are your best friends. As much as plastic bag as you have so that you can use it as garbage. Yeah. He's cuddled up with his mama. 9.30 a.m. I've been awake since six. Let me tell you, this is the best place to just chill. How's the vlog style? It was raining yesterday, but... Amazing. Look at those bangs though. You can tell they need a straightener. Canoe. 40 minutes back to the cars and we're gonna go and try to find some more warm clothing always check the weather a day before prepare because we thought it was gonna be hot and we packed you know light clothing for it but as you can see it's not hot made out of 100 percent polyester it also worked as a souvenir so Okay, so something that I learned from this trip, it had to do with loons. Loons are the birds that are found on loonies, the ones with the checkered body and a white breast and black face. Those are called loons. Their call actually sounds like a wolf. How you can tell the difference between a wolf call and a loon call, a loon's call will go up and down in pitch, whereas the wolf is deeper. If and when anyone who's watching this video wants to go camping, when you want to buy soap and shampoo and conditioner or whatever, if you want all those things, do not make the mistake that we did. Dish soap, if you're gonna use the lake water to clean it while you're in the lake, you need to make sure that the soap that you buy is lake safe. And by lake safe, we mean it does not by we mean. I mean, and or at least I understood that the foamy part is bad for the animals and organisms in the water. So make sure that your soap is lake safe. If you're gonna shampoo in the lake, that needs to be lake safe as well. But most shampoos, like the ones that we got from Lush, we bought I would love to be sponsored by Lush, but anyway, we got some toothpaste pills. 
you chew and damp brush, you brush water bottles, spit into the ground. That doesn't have to be lake safe. The land acts as a sponge, as the lovely lady at Lush explained to us, and so it will absorb it, and that is okay. Small detour, wearing my hoodie backwards. I like taking photos with the Fujifilm. This is Shoot the Diable. I say that so fabish. What do you think, a video or a picture? Yeah. <laughs> we tried to be smart. We are so not gonna let you win. <laughs> yeah, we definitely had our fun. We saw a caterpillar that looked like it came out of the movie Lion King. Look at this. Where's the Mola Bumba? Looks like it's gonna take ages. He's probably just trying to find a nice little tree where he can cocoon up. We made it. Some of us barely made it. Me. This is where everybody is currently. Right now, everyone's on top of me. Are you kidding me? So worth it. I was dying on the way up. I'm not gonna say anything motivational. You can't see what I'm seeing. So, so, so beautiful. Such a beautiful experience. So this is our walk towards the bathroom, which we call the outhouse. Just like in the movies, not fun not fun there's this really cool thing that i just learned about called the tea that pole to the left is the tea you hang up your food and your garbage at night our neighbors didn't do so i'm not too sure why but you hang your things so that no animals find you this is what i carried here we use these to cover them my black one is right here so that if it rains, nothing gets wet. We got these to sleep on. These are the coolest things ever. You put everything in here and you put it in your canoe and you're good to go. Lifesavers, small, compact, put them in the car, good. Propane gas thing. You can cook off of that or cook off of this, whatever you like. Over here, we've got a beautiful tarp that you saw us put up while it was raining the first day. These lanterns will save you at night. We go that way. We are leaving and it started raining. Pack our bags with these. The tents are gone and we are ready to go canoeing in the rain. And it currently is pouring. Pouring rain. <laughs> I mean, we don't mind it. We have our tarp to cover our things. My shoes are getting wet and those are the only dry pair I have left. <laughs> we have to make it all the way across. Let's go. Big group of loons. Hey, what's your name? Tony. F you, Tony. What's your name? Ezekiel. You, Ezekiel. This is where everybody picks up their canoes and puts them back. Making sure everything, everything fits here. Like who did? Like, like who? Yeah, that's it. That's it. We went camping. It was a great time. I guess that's all I have to say. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But I think I uh, went over the whole trip. By the end of the trip, the dog was doing really well on the canoe. That's it. <laughs>